Hello everyone, Stick Boy here, and I am here for another video. Just like I said I would, I just got done watching uh, some MLP and uh, decided that, hey, I'm still good and awake, I'll do another one. So here I am getting ready to do another episode of Oron High School Host Club. And for those of you who have not seen me in a very long time, it's because I've just been really busy. Um, I don't know what to say. It's just going to happen. It's just my life. Uh, sometimes I just can't. Um, let me pull this camera just a teeny bit closer here. All right. I think that'll do. Um, I don't know. I felt like I was kind of far off uh, during the My Little Pony. But uh, anyways, um, I'm going to watch episode 12, which is... Uh, what is it called? Um, let me just go in here and no, you know what? I'm not going to go in here and look. It's got to do with uh, Honey Senpai, and uh, he is going to, for some reason or another, have to stop eating sweets for a while. So um, I don't know. I, I I don't know how you make an entire um, episode out of that. But if I know these characters, they will find a way to do it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm going to do that and. Um, I wanted to do a two-parter, but it's just so late at night that I don't think I can handle two episodes. So it's just going to be the one. Um, before I get into that, though, um, I do want to say that um, I've got some requests to uh, look at a couple of other series. And I want to do that. I would like to add another series in here. Um, the thing is, I don't know how I'm going to have... I barely have enough time right now. Uh, to do one series or so and I'm trying to do two I'm trying to do Oron and I'm trying to do My Little Pony and I know that uh, My Little Pony is going to end season seven is going to end in about a month um, those are we're gonna be done with season seven and it's gonna be on hiatus again um, but about the time My Little Pony ends Star vs. the Forces of Evil is gonna come back and it's going to be like wall-to-wall -wall episodes for about two weeks. I think we're going to get an episode. I think we're going to get like four episodes a week for two weeks or something like that. So we're going to see a huge chunk of season three happen really soon. Um, so I definitely want to get into that. Um, I'm going to be slowly but surely working my way through this series or on High School Host Club. Um, I don't know when I'll get done with it. Um, but one thing that I know is that uh, the biggest limiting factor right now is actually where I'm recording. I'm recording uh, against my outside window uh, because I just like this backdrop with the plant and everything. If I was really ambitious, I could actually rotate my living room here and record against the wall um, and possibly resolve that problem. Uh, the problem being that I can only record at night. This being a, uh, an outside window uh, during the day, it's also a west-facing window, so the sun shines right directly in here in the afternoon when I get home from work. So I can't record while it's daylight because you, you won't see anything but a silhouette of me uh, if I do that. Um, unless I do what I did uh, in the Season 7 premiere of MLP, which was I put like a black sheet back here behind me, but it's really a pain in the butt to hang it up, <clears throat> and then I want to take it down. As soon as I'm done so I just decided I'll just record at night so you know if I get invited if I have activities in the evening if I get invited over to do something or whatever um, you know I don't you know I may not get home in time to record unless I want to do it at midnight which tonight I do I don't mind but a lot of times I don't want to record that late because I'm just freaking tired <laughs> What are you going to do? It's it's adulting. You, you go to work, you come home, you do what you can, and then you're freaking exhausted. And then you get up and you go and do it all over again. Um, but here's the thing, and I'm, I'm going to get to the end of this because I know I'm rambling and uh, I'm sorry about that. I may even put a timestamp on here that says you can skip it all. Um, but here's the thing. When we get into the winter, when we get into November and December, uh, it's going to be getting dark a lot earlier. So it's going to be conceivable that I can actually come in from work and it won't be too long before it's dark and I can come over here and record at like 5.30 or 6 in the evening instead of having to wait 
until after I get done with whatever I'm doing in the evening and then coming back and it being midnight or whatever. So um, going to have a lot more opportunities to record so I may be doing more videos in the winter when it's dark and I don't have anything else to go outside and do <laughs> or whatever and uh, so we'll see we'll see how that works I started in spring uh, you know I started doing this in spring so I haven't really had the winter to work with to see how that's how that's gonna work but I, I think that I'm gonna have a lot more time to record because it is gonna be dark a lot more and I assume that this uh, I assume that this configuration isn't going to change for a while. So, anyways, now then, I'm done talking. Um, so, let's get into this episode. Uh, Honey Senpai has to stop eating sweets. So, I'm sure that's not going to go too well for him. And I'm sure there's going to be some sort of subplot going on because I can't imagine holding up an, old, uh, an entire episode uh, with that premise. So, I've talked long enough. Let's jump into this thing. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Three, two, one, play. Kiss, kiss, Fall in love. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, man, I forgot. There's only three. Damn it, it has been a long time. Hello, Haruhi. It's been a while. Give us a little bit more volume than that. There we go. I really don't mind if I had to choose a road in this garden of romance. Maybe we could take this chance. But yeah, getting back to getting back to possibly starting another series. We'll see what happens between this and Star vs. the Forces of Evil. I'll be getting close to the end of this. So, and it'll be, like I said, I'm going to have more recording time. So, we'll see. I may have, um, Star is going to go on hiatus again. It'll do those two weeks and then we'll have a hiatus again. So, I may have time to start a third series. So, we'll see. I haven't forgotten about it. It's just a lot on my plate right now. That's all. All right, here we go. Let's let's jump into this. Oh, you've done it. It's done all right. But it, it looks done. Fault. What? You idiot. You're the ones who bumped into it. Oh, right? that's his uh Haruhi that's his toy. Away. We were trying to catch her cuz we wanted to have some fun and dress her up in cosplay. So you know what? I don't even want to know you time. two. We weren't going with the usual host club costumes. We want to see Haruhi in bunny costume. Yeah, I I told you I don't want to know. Disguised as a girl. Disguised as a girl. You'd like to see it too, wouldn't you? Of course he would. Don't lie to yourself, Tamaki. Yes. I definitely want to see that. Yeah. What am I thinking? There's no time for stuff like that right now. Don't, know don't lie to yourself, Tamaki. Me from the mess you made. Get away from Haruhi, you punks! No way. Go. <laughs> I know you're. Excuse me. We don't have any guests at the moment. This so guy. I don't mind if you make a racket, but please. Be careful. You don't want to wake Hun Senpai. That is true. He's nice and cute right now, but third year, he still takes afternoon naps. Well, Why we're not? Gonna have to tell him about the bunny at some point. Let's just wake him up and apologize. No, wait! Don't get any closer to Honey Senpai. Come back. It's safe over here. He's gonna go karate on your ass. Honey Senpai wakes up in a very bad mood after napping. Huh? That kind of defeats the purpose of a nap, doesn't it? Nozuka family once visited a U.S. military base to give combat training. Supposedly, Honey Senpai slept through most of it because of his jet lag. Hey, Master, are you doing okay? Hey, Master. Then a soldier on, came in and carelessly to tried to wake him Let's up go. since he had been sleeping for so long. And he died. I'm still sleeping. Oh, dear God! I doubt it went down like that. He wiped out two entire platoons of soldiers. And not just any soldiers, Green Berets. And I've heard we've had diplomatic issues with America ever since that day. How terrifying! I don't think that had anything to do with Honey Senpai. 
Usachan was handmade for Honey Senpai by his deceased grandmother. You've seen the way he carries it around? That little bunny is his most prized possession. I can't imagine how he's going to react when he wakes up and sees that his precious Usachan is ruined. Don't you have a washing machine? You're gonna get bunnied to death. You're exaggerating. It's impossible for that story to be true. I mean, come on. It is, and there's other evidence that Honey Senpai has an evil side to him. Listen to this. His blood type is AB. How do you like that? Yeah, so what? Yeah. But how do he... That means he's the same blood type as Kyoya. <laughs> <laughs> and that did it. What's the matter? Do you guys have a problem with my blood type? Uh, of oh, course not. Those of you watching with type AB, please don't take any offense to this. Hey, I don't even know my blood type, so... I do know that it can't be AB though. Bad. We have to do something quick before he wakes up. He could It's either A or O. Sir, go get your folks Cessna. Fly to Osorizan and bring back a medium. We'll channel his grandmother and she can guide us through it. We can make a new Usachan for Honey Senpai. Take this map of the Omori prefecture with you and don't forget to bring back apple juice, apple jam and Nebuta souvenir dolls. But we don't have that much time. And, and just bring back things idea. that are sweet. But you should come up with something more practical. No. All right, how about this? We'll send Usachan to the cleaners. Uh, yeah, there you go. You're going to have to wear the bunny suit. Yeah, good idea, boss. <laughs> Forget about it. I'm not yeah. wearing that stupid bunny suit. It's not gonna work. He'll know it's me. No, yeah, he she's won't. not going he with that. He won't be able to tell the difference if he's just waking up from a nap. Well, then why don't you wear it, senpai? Yeah. It would be cute if I wear it. Come on. How do you know? Since we can't get another bunny, you're gonna have to step in. You just woke him up. We'll have to use a substitute. We've got no choice. Good going. Good going, guys. Good going. <laughs> no, that's my teddy bear! He's gonna come after us next! Ah, he just spotted his bunny rabbit! Who did this? Who's responsible for this? <laughs> Who got Usachan dirty? <laughs> Someone help! Mori Senpai! Don't let him hurt us! He wanted tea, so Usachan decided to have a drink. Yeah. I see! So that's why his face is all dirty, isn't it? Hey, do you think he wants some cake, too? <laughs> he's a He's a messy drinker. What can we say? Bunnies are like Honey that. Honey Senpai's three bitter days. Okay, Honey's hey, three bitter days. Like All right. Chocolate, mousse, bonbon, so apparently this is not going to go as well as what it looks like. Favorite, huh? Um, let's see. Well, I like them all. I love anything chocolate, Usatan, and all of you ladies. Oh, he's so cute! He's Mies cute, but we love him. Otherwise known as Honey oh. Senpai, age 17. I'm gonna make an Animaniacs reference here. And a member of the host club. Favorite things include cake, chocolate, and bunnies. He's famous for his enchanting boy Lolita characteristics. Yes, we knew that already. Call earlier, huh, Senpai? No kidding. It's not I'm over yet. I'm glad we settled that Usachan issue without any violence. Mm -hmm. Honey Senpai's catchphrases include "I love candy" and "I love cute things." And while some find these charming, I'm not quite sold on his cutesy lily boy image. It's not exciting enough. It feels like something's missing. Uh, honey senpai, you can't keep eating nothing but sweets all of the time. You know, you're oh, why not? a cavity. Oh, don't worry. I always brush my teeth. <laughs> or do you? You jinxed yourself, didn't honey you? Honey senpai, is it... No, it's nothing. Okay. Let me just take a look in your mouth. Oh, hold still. Honey senpai, please quit squirming. There's nothing wrong. Quit messing with me. Leave me alone. <laughs> yes, that's it, that's it! That's what was missing! It's Moe! 
You got you've got Mori and Honey, and then you've got the twins. Between those two pairs. So is it a cavity? Yeah. Nice. It's all right. I'll be okay. Tamaki. Yes, you're right. I'll take care of this. You just need a filling. Uh, <clears throat> Until Honey Senpai gets over his cavity, I'm afraid he can't have sweets. <laughs> Therefore, we'll be supportive and ask that you kindly refrain from eating snacks in the club room until this ordeal is over. You don't get over a cavity. You have it filled. Please don't take my snacks away. You, you have You have it filled. Don't do it. What it's do a do cavity. It doesn't fill itself. Kyoya, you own all of the doctors in Japan. And that's how it all began. One Your family. Day, suddenly, Honey Senpai's life became a living hell. Just send him to a dentist. You guys own half of Japan and, like, I look so miserable. all the money you could possibly need. Snacks. It must be really difficult for him. I hope this doesn't seem insensitive. I know he's in pain, but... Aww, he's so cute! Mitsukuni, back. I can carry it. Yes, you can. Hand it over. <laughs> That's a lot of candy. I was just looking. I wasn't gonna eat them. Really? Of course not. If you're just looking, then try this. <laughs> Nice. I'll keep the real stuff. <laughs> and the truth comes out. Oh man, that was rough. Oh, I can't help but feel sorry for him. You know, I had no idea that Mori Senpai could be so brutal. You wouldn't expect tough love. It. I thought his principles kept him from doing anything to upset Honey Senpai. And to think that he could get the boss to go along with him. It's too bad, Tommy. Host Club is now open for business. Made by it took like half the episode, but we got there. Just hired him from France. But I can't share them with you because you're not eating sweets. Do not fret, my princess. For the present, I must abstain for poor Honey Senpai's sake. But eventually, we'll be able to share chocolate together again. Oh, the friendship you boys have is absolutely beautiful. I believe is it things now? will work out for the better this way, my dear. I'm sure it's delicious, but no chocolate could ever be able to withstand the heat wave of my love, so it would all melt and go to waste. Mm. Oh, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive, boss. That was quite an act. Missing sweets, aren't you? <laughs> Buzz off. The club's number one priority is our guests. All that matters is their happiness. You had better watch yourselves out there. Don't give any sweets to Honey Senpai, no matter what tricks he resorts to. Oh, uh -huh. and incidentally, those instructions come from Mori Senpai. This isn't my doing. So is it just me, or does he seem to be enjoying this? When does he not enjoy people, other people having issues? I just can't hide it any longer. I have to get this off my chest. I need to know what your feelings are towards me and if you'll accept my love. Yeah, this is a host club. What do you expect? Will you please? Unless, of course, there's someone else. Please tell me. Is there someone else who's dear to you? Well... There is, isn't there? Huh. I should have known. <laughs> Haruhi, you shouldn't be spying on him like that. <laughs> all right, Look, here we go. Hakushi, my cavity is all better now. Yeah. You sure. The swelling has even gone down. Has it. So, do you think I can have a piece of cake? Just one, please? That's a nope. Is that a bite stick? 
You're not fully recovered yet. Damn. What are you ladies drinking? Um, Darjeeling tea. It's really good. Yeah. What are you going to have to eat? Well, I was going to have cake, of course. Know what you need? Some sweets. That tea would go well with. That's not indirect. Like maybe some cake. Come on. What do you say? Hmm? Oh boy. It would be good with cake. It sure would. Oh boy. We're so sorry, honey. But it's for your own good. Wait. <laughs> they were on to him the whole time. Pulling at heartstrings. Honey, some pie? Not quite the same as being cute. Honey, John, am I a bad person? I just don't understand why God hates me. What have I done? Not okay, pulling fine. any punches there. This once, got it. Oh, don't do that. <gasps> Is it a snack? Yeah. Mori Senpai is gonna. It's the same color as chocolate. It's not sweet, it. is it? Ah, yeah. That's true. Honey chose the smart one. They're actually all pretty smart, though. They act a fool, but. He's gonna crack. Would somebody please talk to him? He's scaring me. Oh, he's headed for the candy! No need to worry. We emptied out all the sweets. Curious Senpai, you seem really chipper today. <laughs> he's having a good time. He's gonna kill that bear. Yep. Oh, he keeps doing that to my teddy bear! Well, you know, you kind of brought that on him. Well, and he's he down. Goes. Three days and he gives up. Uh, honey, senpai. Uh oh. Mori's fixing to lay the smack down. Needs to move. Don't take this out on other people. You saved me. I thought I was a goner. It's disgraceful. Ooh. You idiot! The little bit isn't going to hurt me. You're so mean. You're such a hardhead. That's it. I hate you. I hate you, Takashi. That's harsh. Hey, Mori Senpai. That was harsh. Will you be all right? That was indeed harsh. I hate you, Takashi! I hate you, Takashi! Now, I'm pretty sure he's not going to be all right. Wow, Senpai. It looks like he really got to you. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like you're self destructing. Maybe Honey Senpai wouldn't hate you if you hadn't have been so hard on him in the first place. It was on purpose. Huh? Mori Senpai, by any chance, have you been acting like this because you're trying to get Honey Senpai to hate you? Why would he do that? It makes no sense. That would be like the end of the world for Mori Senpai. You would think so, wouldn't Why would you? He do it on purpose. Well, maybe because he was trying to punish himself. For. I'm right, aren't I? For letting Honey Senpai get the cavity now in the first are. place? This was my fault. Mitsukuni has a cavity because I'm careless. It's not like he's terminally ill. Twice before his nap time, I forgot. 
to make him brush his teeth. <laughs> but that's not uh, really your responsibility. That's true. You should know better. But if Mitsukuni has to get false teeth, it'll be my fault. He just uh, needs a freaking don't filling! Worry, that's, that's not gonna happen. happen. Wow, what a pessimist. I wouldn't be able to live with myself right now. Do they not have fillings in Japan? Do they not do that? Is that... I mean... Because he felt at fault. Mori Senpai wanted some sort of punishment from Do they even have dentists? To make up for his failure. Well, while that certainly makes for a nice story and everything, it was just a little cavity, right? <laughs> well, there you have it, Honey Senpai. What will you do now? He doesn't really hate Mori Senpai. <laughs> I won't forget to brush my teeth again! I won't forget! <laughs> A few days later, Honey Senpai recovered from <laughs> Our narrator. the cavity. So the host club decided to lift their ban on sweets. And Honey Senpai could greedily stuff his face once more. Of course. What's with Kyria Senpai? He looks depressed about something. Everything's Kyrie going great. Senpai's back to eating snacks again. All those sweets get expensive. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh my. Looks like we have a new of guest. Of course. Huh? Why didn't I think of that? Hey, it's the girl that, uh... Is that the girl that asked, uh... Are you a fan of Mori Senpai? It's that girl. Yeah. Well, Morty, I understand now. I know who you feel so strongly about. And it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very awkward silence. I must say I find it a little surprising that it's Honey. To think he's so special to you. I don't know. It's just well, so... I can't explain it. it it's just so... Yay! Uh, uh, congratulations! You've just taken your first big step into a brand new world! Mitsukuni, you've made a mess. <laughs> Even though this whole thing may look and feel just like a happy ending, I'm not sure everyone out there would think Moe is the best way to wrap things up. Hey, they're having a good time with it. <laughs> Whatever works. Whatever works, you gotta roll with it. Moving forward, but could it be I found a place to rest? How far until I'm okay? Trees of the town reveal the time has come once again to shift our shade and colors. The world always changes around us, but weakness will always remain through all the pain. Believe it, who we are right here and now. Raise one hand to the sky, raise them both. All right then. All right then. And Tomoki Senpai, why are you wearing a silk hat? And Kyoya Senpai, why are you on top? Why of do you question You're anything Tomoki does? Job of keeping up with the storyline. Next time, Haruhi in Wonderland. The Oron Host Club will be waiting for you. We'll see you then. Okay then. Haruhi in Wonderland. That's an interesting concept, isn't it? Ah, uh, I don't even know. I'll just find out next time, won't I? Yeah, that was fun.
I still don't understand why he didn't just go to the dentist and get a filling. Um, I don't think you really just recover from a cavity. I mean, it's a literally, it's literally a hole in your tooth. You don't just recover from that. It doesn't grow back. You you actually have to have it filled. Um, anyways, still fun, still a fun episode. Um, I've jabbered on enough in the beginning of this, so I'm not going to jabber a whole lot at the end. Um, I'm just going to end the video and probably go to bed. Anyways, hope you had fun. I did. I'm Stick Boy, and uh, I'll see you later.